auxiliary cable into. So we're gonna use a T25 Torx bit. We're gonna use that to pull out the, there's two screws on the back here with the little covers over them. <clears throat> and when we get this them pulled out, we just kind of pop it down and pull it out because it hooks onto the headliner. There's a ground cable that's screwed up to the top. See it right there. We're gonna use it's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolt. We're gonna use to pull that out. And with that disconnected, we're gonna grab up at the top, pop this loose. There's a couple of connectors there, and then the speaker connector. Pull the speaker connector loose and get that out of the way. There we go. And the same, just pull out the top, kind of yank on it a few times, and pop the clips loose. And then we're gonna pull the speaker wire out. And then we have access up to the receiver. And there's a couple of bolts that we're gonna have to pull out. The frame for it is grounded to the body of the, of the car. So you're gonna need to disconnect the battery, otherwise it'll short out. And up on the left here, you see, yeah, we see where the two bolts connect. That's the power wire. It just clips right into place there. And then the orange, the orange double wires. Those are. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, the orange wires right there. Those are for the fiber optics. So, you just squeeze a little connector on the side and pop it out. Then you just pull this straight out when you get those two bolts out, those two 10 millimeter bolts. And it takes a little bit of work, but then you just kind of pop it loose and make sure you're not catching on wires like I was. Right up there is where it hung up. And then it just pops out really fast and easy. And that's your antenna right there. Now we're going to use the same T25 and we're going to pull out these four screws on the top and that's going to release the actual FM unit from the rest of the antenna. There we go, it just fell off. Now we just gotta pull out the connector for the antenna to the FM receiver. And it's just pressed in there, there's no clips. So it just takes a little bit and just pops straight out. And then lift it up and there it is. So now we just gotta take out some screws, just a regular Phillips. Actually, if you use a number one Phillips, it has small screws. Well, I use the number one Phillips. A number two Phillips might just fit in there a little bit better. I forget. But they're small screws. So you're just going to take your time and just pull all the screws out and then pop the panels off. So there's the positive, negative, and the ground. I cut the ground short. The, I, on all of them. I put some solder on the tips of them to get them ready to solder down. And this is where I learned to have a clean tip. But here's the circuit board that was in my Volvo. The ground was at the bottom and the left and right speakers, which I wound up having to test and see which was which. I, f I forget like red or white, but I think red yeah, I don't remember now, <laughs> but you can always test. And if you, if you're doing a splice part way, just don't solder it until you know, and then you can go flip it if you need to, and then solder it into place. But here is the one that you often see on like the 2006s and in between the positive and negative, you see just to the left of the white wire was 
is the little solder solder dot on the printed uh, circuit board and that's where you're going to solder the ground to then once you get all that done you just run the cable out through the the top that way you can clip it on the place because if well if you have navigation this might get in the way but there's a couple of holes meant for add-ons, which mine had none. So I just kind of just ran it through here and screwed everything back on. And after you get everything screwed together, then uh, support it. My camera's not one of the focus. So last night I got this all put back in and I put a zip tie around this to give it support so it doesn't actually pull on it. So, I was looking, trying to find some female adapters, and it's ridiculous trying to find some around here that aren't overpriced. But I have a bunch of speaker wires, so I'm going to run these to the front alongside the stuff, and I'm going to show you how I do that along the way. But what I'm going to do is, as you, I just connected both. Both of the negatives here, and I'm going to connect the positives to the. Okay, there you go. I'm going to connect. Let's see here. Connect two negatives, like so. And then I'm just going to use one for each. Like. The red ones are the positive sides are going to be left speaker, right speaker, and so I'm going to get them soldered up. That bad boy, get them soldered up, and then we'll go from there. So I got these so, these soldered up, and I've been having a hard time soldering. I haven't really done much of it, but I found out that if that is dirty, I use my Leatherman tool, file it off and then it just works perfectly like it's supposed to so because all soldered up i have some heat shrink i'm gonna put over these protect them and then i'm gonna start running cable so i ran it back down behind here and so what i'm thinking i'm gonna do kind of fish it along under here and lift the seats up kind of tuck it underneath and underneath the door panel just pop the trim up go under that and then up to the front seats probably pull up the carpet or something go underneath up to the center console so that's the route i'm planning and we'll see if it actually works out so i made sure i ran the wires behind this first and there's tucked right back here down in there can't really see them but then I just kind of drop them alongside the seat here and then just pull forward and then drop it down and it goes under there and then we're going to go around and get it all tucked underneath. Here it is. So what we'll probably do, what would be best, run it behind the seat belt and then just tuck it down along here. Might even, who knows, might even just run it underneath the carpet here up to this point then we'll be able to tuck it in and you won't notice it okay so i got it ran behind the seat belt there and then this awesome dark light you can came, actually you can't even really see it. it's hidden pretty well if you look closely right back here you can well, barely barely see the cords but i'm just kind of sticking them under up underneath like this uh, just they're about just that far up right around the edge there and then i'm gonna pop this off and then just kind of run it underneath there and then to the front so i got it ran right there as you can see tuck it down a little bit more there we go now you can't see it and then i have it tucked under back underneath the edge of the carpet here all the way around and then pulled 
that off because let's do this then so this is the crack I'm talking about the wires are gonna come from the back and then right here this carpet panel is separate from this one so it's like on both sides passenger and driver side all the padding and stuff is attached here but if you look right back here there's the seam where you can just run it across and right up and that's dirty <laughs> up into the console look through that so that's what i'm gonna do because you can stick your finger ouch <laughs> underneath there but you can just run it to here and just run it up through there there we go run it along here and there you go it's going up there so i'm just gonna run it up here until i can pull the uh, carpet up on the front side then run that over so i popped this out nice and easy for me you can't even see it it's just tucked up in there i pulled it out and ran it right along the front here it's really dark now stop recording because your thumb hits the big button but I stuck the wires up to there slid them back and as you can see they're tucked in right there and then I just gotta figure out where I actually want it to come out I just drill a hole in that piece have it coming out there that looks kind of tacky or have it come up through here or something but we will see what develops okay so I pulled the stereo out which is Whenever you have that out, there's gonna be four screws. You're gonna pull just the bottom two out. Stick your hand right here and just pull. And the whole thing's gonna pop loose. Pull the gear shift. We have the key on. Pull the gear shifter in the drive. When you get the stereo out, put it in park. Pull the key out. I didn't actually disconnect the stereo. I just disconnected the climate control. Pull these bottom two screws out. Two screws on each side and a couple of tabs pop those loose. And I am going to run the wire straight through the back here. Right, put it off to the side. But then that is going to go through that little hole. Maybe I'll go through the middle. But <clears throat> then I'll be able to I'll be able to fish it around up through here. And I'll come out here right with the stereo like you would expect it to be. So I drilled a quarter inch hole in the back, which is big enough for this to go through. Pull that all the way through. There we go. Now I'll be able to just slide it in there when I'm not using it. Pull it out when I do want it. And there's plenty of space back here. It doesn't sit right against that. It actually sits about four inches away from the back there. So I'm just going to stick it off to the left here because it's coming out the left side. Like that. And then I'm going to put the stereo all back together. And yeah. So I have, I ran through here. Goes out the corner there underneath and it connects to these wires. So now I'm just kind of pulling it down. I got it ran through there, down to here. I have a lot of extra wire, which I didn't really think about, but it's it's out of the way. So that's not a big deal per se. Now I can just put all this back together. So I have the radio playing and I have it on Dolby surround sound, which sounds on and off sketchy at best. I'm gonna do a surround sound test. And then I plug this in. And it goes to that. I'm loving it. Then you just. When it's on surround sound, the back speakers cut in and out, so I have to put it on through.